Welcome to Beer Disciples. I am Ross Quintana. And I'm Rob Hubbard. I'd like to just announce that, you know, randomly throughout the day. Yeah. I am Ross Quintana, and <laughs> it is a darn pleasure to be me today. Um, today, we've got the Schneiderweiss. I always like yeah. my little my little weird German accent I get when I drink a Hefeweizen. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're, we continue our journey here with Rob Hubbard. The journey for the wonderful Hefeweizen. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I brought another one that I think might fit the bill here. And I'm going to give a shout out to um, Chad from Chad's Beer Review. Uh, I was watching his review of Keller Weiss, and, which I didn't care for at all, really. We reviewed that one. And he mentioned, oh, this isn't good as Schneider Weiss was one of the ones he, he mentioned. So... You know, if you don't know which ones are good yet, you get to that aisle and they're all in German and it's just like randomly, okay, I don't know if this one's total garbage yeah. or it's total great. So, uh, you know, listening to other people who have recommendations is really good when it comes to a lot of foreign beers and stuff. So anyway, so we're going to try it out here and see if it lives up to the hype. Because so far I like the I like the flavor of the wheat beers and the Hefeweizen, but they're just not big enough for me yet They're not well they haven't been put together right I think also like yeah. the one was real yeasty and there wasn't enough bready notes it's like haven't found that right balance so mm -hmm. hopefully maybe this is it um, and we're exploring you know the, the style as you get deeper into more beers of a particular style you may come to find out maybe that's just not the style that's going to work maybe the ideal there isn't what you're really imagining right um, so we'll have to try it out anyway the brewer uh, Schneiderweiss and they're out of Kelheim uh, Germany, and style is German Hefeweizen, and the ABVs on this is 5.4, and IBUs are 14, so it's typical in these to have low IBUs. Mm -hmm. um, I'll read you the description real quick from them. It says it's, it is an amber mahogany coloring, that, that wasn't a full sentence, um, <laughs> and streaked with fine top fermenting yeast. This beer has a fine persistent head that adheres well to the glass, pleasantly spicy, with typical top fermented smell. Aroma of clove, nutmeg, apple, tantalizes the nose on the tongue. It's fresh, clean, full-bodied, harmonious, and well-balanced. So what's top fermenting? That is for another video, sir. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, this will be a 30-minute video. Um, <laughs> so uh, let's try it out. Let's take a look at this pour here and see what we have. With these, these are already going to have a normal, pretty good size head. And I left you enough there to get going. All right. Well, I take a look at that bad boy. It looks good, and there should be some yeast in the bottom of this, so I'll take a little finish at the end. All right. I don't want to pour it all, leave a little bit in there to swirl around. Yours may look pretty even there. That's got a good color, though, I'll tell you what, right off the bat. So we got a little bit, we're going to see that, you can mm -hmm. see the yeast going right in there. Yep. Give you a milkshake. I'll drink your milkshake. Okay, so great looking, um, wonderful color, it's amber uh, with golden highlights, great looking head, which you can expect out of a, a Hefeweizen that it's going to be a nice white. Uh, you know, beautiful head, which is what, you know, this has got. It's actually, the head's got just a smidge of color in it. Mm -hmm. um, so, it's a good looking beer. It looks great so far. Um, let's go to the nose on it. Mm. So, you're starting off, this is pretty typical smelling for uh, for a Hefeweizen. I'm getting mm -hmm. the, the yeast characteristics. You do definitely get the hints of, of the of the clove, a little bit of banana. It's not overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, hit the taste on that. Let's do it. That's pretty good. Yeah. I gotta say, it's starting off nice and well balanced. Mm -hmm. Unlike the Keller Weiss, where it was almost hollow, there was no graining, bready notes at all. Right. Um, it was taste just yeasty, and 
this one you're getting that nice balance. It's, it's it, pretty highly carbonated too. This hits you're you with getting, a lot of flavor right off the bat, which yeah. I like. <clears throat> it's definitely got a more complex profile than the other ones that we've tried. Even the Erdinger wasn't um, didn't have as much separation in the flavor spectrum. It wasn't as right. big a beer. It almost felt like half of this beer as far as the ingredients go. Mm -hmm. Mm. I gotta say that's that's pretty good. Yeah. That I like the Erdinger pretty good, but this definitely moves past that with a bigger Absolutely. flavor. Absolutely. Um, well balanced between the yeast and the and and plenty of bready notes, um, and the and the body is bigger also. Mm -hmm. It's got a little bit more of a silky body, and it's not. Uh, the other one was more refreshing, but in the watery sense. Whereas right. this, this has a little something it, to it. It almost, has, it almost has a little citric flavor too. At yeah. the, right at the beginning there. You get a little, almost caramely note too, mm -hmm. in there in the aftertaste. That's that's pretty nice to blend in with that yeast. That's the Keller Weiss was overpowering in the yeast, and there was no yeah. grain and no caramel notes at all. Um, and, and this is about, I, I would guess, as big as you would want uh, a Hefeweizen because it's still supposed to be a refreshing right. um, wheat beer. So I'm going to say... Uh, it's, it's, it's smooth. I mean, it's... Uh... Carbonation just a smidge high for me on it. Um, I had to kind of mm -hmm. tap mine just a little bit to... I mean, it's well carbonated. Not over carbonated, but mm -hmm. maybe just a smidge less because that will add to the drinkability a little bit. Um, I'm going to say on this, pretty solid work. Uh, for I haven't done a whole bunch of the Hefeweizens yet, but uh, this has probably moved to the top of my list. Yeah, this is definitely my favorite so far, so it's uh, a good benchmark. Yeah, Rate Beer has this as a 95 overall, 99 for the style, so it's got great marks on that out of 1,261 ratings. And it's a B-plus on Beer Advocate. And I'm going to have to go with this. I'm going to have to go put this in in my, for the Hefeweizen, I'm going to have to put this in the A- minus category for me. It's 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 on the top. I could see it being a B plus, but I don't know. I don't have a big enough Hefeweizen vocabulary to say, mm -hmm. you know, typically, actually, when you're new to the style, you'll tend to rate it a little higher because you haven't had some of the best okay, yeah. beers in the world. And all of a sudden, it's like, oh, well, now that I've had those... It all of a sudden, some things that were in my A minus category might have to bump down to a B plus. Um, but for now, um, I'm going to say that this is really solid, very drinkable. I like everything really about it: the the, the balance, the bread notes, the you know the appearance, everything. So for me, solid A minus, no question. You know, this would be the one I would recommend right now. So what do you think? I really liked it. It was, uh, I think it was enough flavor for me so that was good because that's what i've been what's been lacking in the other ones is just it's too too light and watery so i really appreciated that and uh the, it might be a little too citric citrusy for for my taste maybe a little more bready i could use but on yeah. the whole very delicious yeah i thought it was pretty good some other people who've uh reviewed this joe jj davin um did a pretty good review on this and then um Chad's Beer Review has it in his top 10 for 2009. And uh, the Brew Dudes, uh, I like their little side-by-side -side comparison. They did uh, they did this next to uh, two other one, uh, Hefeweizens, and, and they do a good job too. Mm -hmm. So uh, shouts out to those guys. Uh, I'm going to say, yeah, uh, you can join the conversation. Leave comments below if you've had this, what your favorite Hefeweizen is. Um, we're open to suggestions for sure. Uh, there's a couple more I have on my list that I want to try. You can join the conversation online at facebook.com forward slash beer disciples. And you can uh, email us at thebeerdisciples at gmail.com. Let us know if you want to have a beer you want us to review. You can do beer mail. Send us something um, from your area if you want us to review it online. If you're in the area and you want to be a guest on the show, stop by and bring a beer. We will drink it with you. Um, remember beer social, so... Until next time, I'm going to say I would suggest this one, and we'll say cheers. Too late, I'm empty. Oh.